All right, B. Who are you and what's your game? Well, if it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? The Corrupt Practices Bill is a vital step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to dictate the results of contested elections, we can scarcely call ourselves free. 
If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free, sir. This is so like you, Gladstone. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of progress than surrender one iota of power. By God, this lady, you are a fool. I'll not see my sky and watch you drag parliamentary privilege through the muck. Well, if it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? The Corrupt Practices Bill is a vital step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to dictate the results of contested elections, we can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free. This is so like you, Gladstone. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of progress than surrender one iota of power. By God, this lady, you are a fool. I must stand idly by and watch you drag parliamentary privilege to the muck. Well, if it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? The Corrupt Practices Bill is a vital step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to dictate the results of contested elections, we can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free, sir. This is so like you, Gladstone. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of progress than surrender one iota of power. By God, this lady, you are a fool. I'll not stand idly by and watch you drag parliamentary privilege through the muck. No, certainly not. You'd rather return us to the yoke of tyranny. Perhaps while we're at it, Mr. Gladstone, we could repeal Magna Carta and return the crowd to the bloody stirrups. How dare you, sir? Merely because I do not wish to see government placed in the hands of judges, you would make these slanderous accusations? I'll not stand for it. Then I shall obviate the requirement. Good evening, sir. Pleasure to meet you. B. B. My name's Herbert. Then why are you following the Prime Minister? It's just a job, sir. Some old bloke paid me to.
coming up there. Well, I was born in Crawley, but that's by the by. Who are you working for? Oh, I never got his name. Uh, old chap, big moustache, wore some kind of uniform. Who's ours, maybe? What's his game? Please, you'll kill me. And a three-story drop will shatter your legs and send you to the workhouse. Difference is you can run from him. Tomorrow! Oh, my lads are going to attack the Prime Minister's carriage on the way to Parliament. Perfect. <laughs> Doing fine, girl. Prime Minister, I'm your new bodyguard. 
Jacob Fry. I wasn't informed of any new bodyguard. Who's your commanding officer? Let the boy speak, Dizzy. <laughs> Madam, apologies. But we've learned of a threat on your life. And the Met thought it best to move quickly. Threat? What sort of threat? <gasps> that sort. If you excuse me a moment. Where'd they come from? I bet my life on it. This is perfectly in keeping with this distinct lack of character. Show yourself, Gladstone! Show yourself, you feckless muck snipe! Well, he's hardly going to be in the van with a cudgel, or Dizzy. about Gladstone, young man. I assure you, madam, Gladstone is innocent in this. But he tried to kill my husband. Well, we'll look into Gladstone. Perhaps you can help me with another inquiry, madam. A gentleman with ties to Parliament, older, wears cavalry uniforms and has a large mustache. You seem like a rough and ready sort of fellow, Mr. Fry. <laughs> well, yes, I am, actually. And are you familiar with the poorer districts of our city? Roughly. Wonderful. As it happens, I've been eager to tour the Devil's Acre. If you were to escort me, I'd be happy to assist you in your inquiry. That strikes me as a dangerous idea. Then it's settled. Come back here to Downing Street tomorrow night, eight o'clock sharp. Good day, Mr. Fry. But I... Good day! 